This is a script I wrote in Python, which uses GPT-3 by OpenAI and also their Whisper API to waste scammers' time. You can see here that one of its prompts is to act like a confused but lonely old person and to ramble and go on tangents with stories. So the purpose of this would be to have it talk to a scammer over the phone uh, because it, it recognizes uh, speech and then it responds with text-to-speech. Um, you can't actually do that, I think, according to OpenAI policies. So um, I'm just going to, of course, uh, role play as the scammer here. I'm not actually going to wait for a scammer to call me. Um, you know, now is not the time for them to start. You know, I hope they don't start calling me after this, but... Uh, so we have our main logic loop here where we get the uh, speech and uh, I do that with the Whisper API uh, and then I generate the response. And so I will summarize the conversation if it's gone too long, above 4,000 characters. I know characters are not tokens. Uh, it can handle 4,000 tokens, but I'm just wanting to limit to 4,000 characters because I think that's a pretty good limit. Um, so we add timestamps to the conversation. Um, we generate the text. We only grab the very first line from it. Mm, nothing too crazy. Um, you know, I have some stuff in threads, but that's just so that it doesn't take up time. Um, you know, I want to be able to to capture what the scammer is saying uh, while we're actually like speaking uh, or like outputting a response here. Um, uh, it just seemed like that was working the best. So I'm just going to play around with it. Um, I, I wrote like a script using chat GPT that I'm just going to use to pretend to be the scammer. So let's uh, go ahead and give it a try. Um, it the, the responses do take a while. The transcription is just, it's the longest part. Um, I'm not really sure how to make it go any faster. Um, so I'll just work with it. I'm just going to pretend it's better. Hello? Hi there. This is John from ABC Travel. Congratulations. You've been selected for a free trip to Bali, Indonesia. Wow, that sounds great. I've always wanted to visit Bali. How can I get started? Well, You'll just need to attend a brief two-hour seminar about our latest travel packages and promotions. Once you attend the seminar, you will receive your brochure for the free trip to Bali. It's that easy. Sure, I'd love to attend the seminar. What day and time does it take place? Uh, the seminar is scheduled for next weekend, and uh, yeah, it's scheduled for next weekend. We do have limited slots available, so we encourage you to reserve your spot uh, right now. And uh, to reserve your spot, you will need to make a $50 deposit. And now, don't worry, we will refund your deposit after the seminar. This is just to ensure that you're serious about attending. That sounds fair. I'm happy to make a $50 deposit to reserve my spot. Okay. Well, uh, we accept all major credit cards and we can process your payment over the phone. Uh, so would you like to give me your credit card details now? Sure. I'd be happy to give you my credit card details. What information do you need? I'll need your name, your credit card number, your zip code, and the three digits on the back of the credit card. Sure. My name is Jane Doe. My credit card number is 4242-4242. 4242-4242.
My zip code is 94102. And the three digits on the back are 123. Okay, um, the digits on your credit card, um, they don't seem to be right because they're all supposed to be different numbers. They're not supposed to all be 4242. So, uh, maybe you could find a, a different credit card that has numbers that are more, like, random? Oh, okay. I can try to find a different card. Let me check. Yeah, um, yeah, just go ahead. Um, let me know when you find it. Let me see what I can find. I should have something soon. Sure, I'll look into it. Yeah, um, so have you found it yet? I'm still looking for the new card, but I should have it soon. All right. Go ahead and tell me the All right, go ahead and tell me the card number. I think I found one. The card number is 4111111111111111111. Um that's just totally not a believable number at all. That's even less believable than the last one. Hmm, that's strange. What other cards do you accept? Maybe I can try something else. Uh, Alright, let's end it. So we got the uh, conversation here, the transcript. Uh, it didn't summarize, but if it did, we would see the summary here so we can see how the conversation went. And, you know, this is all impromptu, of course. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of fun to just play around with this. Obviously, what would need to be improved is that the response time would have to be better. And I might want to make the, uh, some things a bit more threaded so that I could capture, um, what the scammer is saying during sort of more, um, more of the time. I'm um, just kind of always be listening. Maybe, um, I, I originally had it that way, but I just, it was too confusing to debug. And so I just kind of, decided to have it be more kind of um, serial rather than parallel but so yeah there's room for improvement but it's uh, just like I said it's fun to play around with so I'm going to post the code for this for sure